Hey everybody, it's your girl Debbie Ann Shaw and this is Artist Hustle TV. So today is Q&A Friday and today's question was how do I go about um, making money doing music because a lot of music is free. So how do I make money off my music and being a musician? How in the world do I do it? What, what advice, is there anything you can provide for me uh, an idea on exactly how how can I track it how can I make this money so what I decided to do was um, I I'm not a money expert so please don't look to me as a money expert I did do some um, some uh, notes I took some notes and I'm like you know what these are some of these are the six things you need to do um, in order to grow your money to track your money, you know, etc You need to have these things in place and you don't need to just do this once or twice a year You need to be doing this every single month like a business owner So one of the first things you do is you need to know your numbers You need to know how many fans you have and that means um, Email that means social media that means in person that means Everyone that is your fan you need to know that number you need to know how many customers, aka fans, that you have, and that will help you understand how much money, how much you can leverage this fan base, this audience that pays attention to you. The next thing you need to think about is growing your list. Now, I've talked about this before. Marketing is really important, but networking is important just as much. So when you're out and about and you're collecting cards or you're meeting people, that's phone numbers, that's email addresses, that's uh, just any and everything. Grow your email list. You need to grow your email list. If that means you have to give out an offer to your fans or the people that are interested in you, that's what you need to do. Always think about how can I grow that list more and more and more. Do not just rely on social media. Stop relying just on Twitter, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, or the next best thing. Stop. You need to have your own database of customers so you understand where the money would be going, who's invested, and um, who else would be interested. Now, the other thing to do is you need to track your online and offline efforts. Okay, so if you don't have a Google alert on yourself, you need to stop this video and go and do that right now. So all you have to do is uh, go to Google Alerts and you type in your name or your brand's name and then it will give you emails on a daily basis. If people mention you, if you know any and everything about your brand, you need to know this. This is going to help you with your money. You may not realize it, but it's really, really important for you to see where your efforts are going. If you just paid for a campaign and you realize, okay, they didn't post me on that blog or you know um, I was supposed to get XYZ you need to track all of your online and offline efforts if you invested in money to go to a showcase but you didn't really get much fans from it or you didn't really get much um, whatever it is your R, um, your ROI which is your return on investment so if you spent $500 but you only really got $150 out of it Maybe that's not going to be worth it. So think about what exactly is working and track those efforts. Now, the other thing you need to do is ask your fans for what they want. If you already have an email list, you need to ask them today, tomorrow. What do you guys want from me? Maybe they don't want new music from you. Maybe they want shirts. Maybe they don't want any more merchandise. You put too much products out there. Maybe they want access to you. Maybe they want to come in the studio with you. You just never know. You have to ask your fans what they want. Now, some companies like, let's say, Apple, for instance, they don't really, at least from my knowledge, they don't really ask. They kind of just create innovative, cool things to make people want to buy. And so that could be your approach. You know, like, let's come up with something that our fans are going to love, but you need to survey them and understand who they are and ask them exactly what they want from you. If they want more access to you, if they want um, more behind the scenes from you, do they want more products? Do they want more live shows from you? Um, do they want Q and A's from you? Whatever they want, ask. Do a survey, do it on social media, do it on your email list, but ask your fans what they want. And the next tip is to give it to them. Start creating products, services, um, whatever it is, collaboration. Say they say, you know what, you and so-and-so would work together good. See if that partnership would work well. So go ahead and start creating products that make sense that your fans actually want and they're willing to buy. And the last tip is you need to have a budget. Count your money and have a budget. You have to invest in your career. You cannot just...
Everything's for free. Everything's for free. You have to invest your money, but you have to do it wisely. You cannot just spread your money everywhere and hope and pray. Okay, this is going to work. Hopefully I hire the right person. You really need to do your research and you can't do this by yourself. I'm telling you, you need to have a team. And if you don't already, make sure you do your research before you sign on a dotted line or sign away any type of money. So have your team together, count that money, and make sure you guys like this video and subscribe for more marketing and branding videos every single week. And I will see you guys next time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. See you guys next time. Bye.